Scoot. Number 1030, Track Vader. Number 62, Murduck. Number 666, Tracknar Lodbrock. And jamming for Belgium in black, number 88, Trick or Threat. And first line for Puerto Rico will be number 02, Coach Boom. 414, T-Man. Number 5, Bustelo. Number 68, Rosario. And jamming for Puerto Rico will be number 275, Martinez. And we are live here for game 11 from the Nerd Skates track here at the 2016 Men's Roller Derby World Cup. My name is Pink Slemonade. And I'm Snuggins. So we are off and running and first we are jam. straight Martinez. into the thick of this. First Trick jam in threat. action. Number 88 jam. And the call goes team, to Belgium. Trickle threat. Martinez for Puerto Rico. But it's Martinez for Puerto Rico picking up the lead jam. And it looks like triple threat headed to the penalty box. That's going to be power jam right out of the gate for Puerto Rico. Got a nice three formation with an extra in the front here. And a quick spin and a jump through those swinging doors. Number 275, a five point grand slam for Puerto Rico. Number 62, Murdoch heading to the penalty box for Belgium for an out of play block, meaning there's only one less blocker for Martinez to get through on this second power jam pass. Martinez picks up his second five point grand slam as Trickle Threat returns from the penalty box. Looks like he's trying to give away that star. No, he went for the stash. Went for the stash, finishes initial pass. Martinez hit to the inside, calls off that jam, still racks up another two points. Your score now 12 to zero in favor of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico coming straight out of the box and uh, taking this game by the horns and saying, we're here, this is what we're doing. Picking up that nice little lead to get things going. Yeah, setting the tone early. Silver lying, uh, jamming in the black for Belgium. Riviera, sorry, Rivera, jamming in the blue for Puerto Rico. We've got pack advantage for Puerto Rico right now. Belgium switching it up, deciding to take the front in light of that fact. And a quick lead jammer status goes to Belgium. It's Silver Lion streaking around your screen, hotly pursued by Rivera. Ooh. Silver Lion making their way to the back of the pack, picking up two points and calling off that jam, managing to shut down Rivera. So it was a two nothing, three nothing jam, my mistake. Uh, to Belgium on that one. We've seen a lot of games this morning go several jams without one of the teams mm -hmm. scoring, so this is nice to see. Belgium's not letting it phase them. Out on your uh, nerd quad skates uh, start line, number 99, Somme. So sorry, Sofe. And number 275, that's Martinez again from Puerto Rico. Both these teams skating just a little bit short, so I think we're probably going to see a lot of the uh, same jammers up in rotation. Martinez once again successful picking up that lead jam status for Puerto Rico. So Faye taking a big hit from Puerto Rico on the inside of turn one here and recycled by number 68, Rosario. Really good aggression here from Puerto Rico. So Faye managing to shrug off those blockers to make his initial pass. in control once again pulls off the jam no points by the looks of things three points three points going up for Puerto Rico 15 to 3 now just under 27 minutes left in the game of course at the group stage these are 30 minute games timeouts uh, the clock does not stop for timeouts does not stop for injury one team timeout each not within the last two minutes of the game five penalties to foul out Five penalties and foul out. And you're really seeing how it changes the strategy here, knowing knowing that a, a timeout costs you gameplay time Absolutely. has really changed the way that the bench is, is managing that kind of thing. I actually just saw some interesting use of that um, over on the SUSU track uh, between Canada and Mexico. Yes. Um, some, some really interesting usage. Uh, if you guys um, saw that, it's Canada really had control towards the end there. Um, managing to pick up that lead yes. after Mexico had dominated for over half the game. Well, and, and yeah, Canada took that. It was almost six minutes to mm. for the officials to decide that uh, so, uh, Soy Tupero was going to be ejected for a yeah. box smash. 
And while it was six minutes of gameplay burn, he is arguably one of the best jammers on the team. And you really saw the momentum change after that with the yeah use of time because Mexico came out swinging and it was looking really rough for Team Canada in that first half. First half of the half, I yes. suppose. Uh, first time up to jam for Team Puerto Rico on this next one, number 24, Flesher. Uh, that is 88 trickle threat for Belgium. Time out, done and dusted, and it looks like we're getting straight back into this next jam. 4-2, uh, sorry, 3-2 pack advantage for uh, Puerto Rico. Only two defenders from Belgium on the track. Trick or Threat trying to sort of kill some time, play a little bit of defense, but he cannot keep back the Puerto Rico jammer. Fletcha is your lead jammer in the blue. Fletcher really speeding up and the pack matching him on that speed. Everyone trying to get in front of a black uh, Black jersey player trying to catch a point or two. Fletcher manages to pick up three in that pass. Widening their lead to 18 to three. 24 minutes left in the game. Of course, we'd like to give a shout out to Mary Chaos. Be harder, better, faster, stronger with one-on-one -on -one coaching from Derbalife and Chaos Theory. New Derbalife Transformation Challenge is starting on August 8th. Visit Chaos with a K, chaostheoryblog.com for more details. Straight into the next jam. Puerto Rico picking up lead, but Belgium hot on their tail. There it gets Rosario with the, oh sorry, no, Rivera with the lead jammer status. Hotly pursued by Silver Lying. Really spread out pack here. So Rivera just comes in like a shot, picks up four points. Looks like Belgium's gonna pick up two in that last pass. Silver Lion really laid on a little burst of speed just as he came along that straightaway, managing to get himself into the pack to bag those points for Yeah, the barely a juke. There was so much there's so many wide open spaces yeah. there. And a lot of jammers really like that. They, I don't care where you are, just keep it open. Yeah. Let <laughs> just, me just, just swim. Just let me through. Just yeah. you know, give me some space. Keep them away from each other, I'll worry about the rest. Absolutely. Number two seventy five, Martinez jamming in the blue for Puerto Rico against Sofe for Belgium. Lead jammer status to Puerto Rico. So fake going to head to the penalty box. The track cut forced by number 24, Fletcher. An opportunity now for Puerto Rico to really stretch out this lead, yep. starting with that Grand Slam pass. Just a moment ago, Belgium still with only two defenders. It's a penalty trouble abound for the team in black. Oh, just hips first, right wow. into that. I didn't think it was gonna work. Hips right into hips, but he just busts them open. Another five point grand slam for Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico has had four straight lead jammer statuses and four out of the five lead jammer statuses overall. And you can see it in the score, this, even this early on. Belgium now back up to a full complement of blockers. Uh, some of the Puerto Rico blockers heading in to try and uh, perform some offense. So Faye completing his initial <laughs> pass right out of the box. Martinez having some trouble with the Belgian defense now that they've got all four on the track. Decides to call the jam, still picks up five for that pass. 15 point jam for Puerto Rico. Just under 22 minutes remaining, five points to Belgium. Puerto Rico still out with that slim lead as we've seen through a lot of games today at 37 points on the board for them. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of the teams didn't get a chance to practice together before, say, yesterday. And you can definitely see people coming together over, over even over the course of the 30 minute period. Absolutely. So whoever comes out of the gate uh, strongest is not necessarily gonna be your victor. Speaking of which, Belgium with the lead jammer status, it is trick or, tr uh, sorry, trick or threat. Meanwhile, disaster chief for Puerto Rico, having some trouble in the pack, not yet made his initial pass. Trickle threat shrugging off those Puerto Rican blockers to pick up a natural grand slam. Disaster chief has stashed the star cover, looking to pass to his pivot but really not being able to reach past that Belgian defense. Tricker threat, one left to best, a little shoulder nudge. And that is it. Five point grand slam for Belgium. 
little bit of jammer, uh, jammer interaction there after we'd had that style pass to Puerto Rico's pivot. Um, Trickle threat, obviously seeing with that jammer that close. It's not, no point, I'm just gonna call it and shut yeah. it down. Yeah, time is not on uh, Belgium's side, so anything to make the game a little more efficient, they're definitely gonna wanna do. Not a moment to waste out here. That was their first uh, score in five jams wow. for Belgium. Silver Lying and Hector Rivera on the track jamming. Big hit from number 60. That's going to be a forearm for number 62 from Belgium. Murdoch. Hector Rivera saying, who, me? Nope. Knocked to the inside by number 1030. That's track Vader. And a full penalty box for Belgium right now. Yep, we are seeing a roller derby athletics power jam in favor of Puerto Rico. Uh, I believe it was a forearm penalty silver lying incurred on the way to uh, the box. Big, big hits being sent, but Rivera managing to shrug them off with some beautiful footwork um, to make his way through for another five. Yeah, making really easy work of that Belgian defense. Puerto Rico just sort of laying in wait, seeing how he does. Down but not out. Hector Rivera going on the outside of turn three. And that's a five point pass once again for Puerto Rico. Silver Lion trailing his, jam, uh, his blocker into the pack. Nice little skip and a jump on the outside line. Oh! Through the pack. Huge hits being dealt to uh, Rivera. Yeah, really masterful footwork to stay in bounds there at the outside of turn one. Oh! She can love that jammer. There's no lead jammer in this contest, so we've got 24 seconds left of scoring, and it seems they are treating each other pass for pass at the moment. However, Hector Rivera being sent to the penalty box for a back block penalty means we've got a change of fortune now. Power jam in favor of Belgium. Yeah, Hector Rivera has just sat, so we're going to have about 25 seconds of the next jam where Belgium is king. That's four whistles and four points in the air for Belgium. Two scored by Rivera before he headed to the penalty box. 53 to 32, a much tighter score right now. 18 minutes to go. And Team timeout brought to us by Sisu Mouthguards. Sisu Mouthguard, of course, the official mouthguard of the Men's Roller Derby World Cup and the sponsor of Track 2 over in the other side of the venue. Of course, this is the Nerd Skate Shop track. And uh, Nerd Skate's also sponsoring our Jammer and Pivot Lines. They're treating us good. Yes, they are. Go, nerds. <laughs> Dirt Derby Nerd is celebrating silently next to me. So Faye uh, wearing the star in black for Belgium for this power jam start. Only two defenders to help. Whereas a full complement of four blockers to face off against with, from Puerto Rico. And they're going for the GOAT technique, just keeping one away from Sofe, but that's gonna be a track cut penalty to Sofe. He's going to trade spots with uh, uh, Rivera in the penalty box. Track Vader returning and being goaded by Puerto Rico. A two, two penalties there for Sofe. One for a forearm and one for a track cut. It's going to mean an extended power jam for Puerto Rico. Rivera back on track, but taking a couple of uh, big knocks. Knocks him off, sets him back round past that jammer line. Oh, wow. Oh. Taking a risk with a bit of a jump on the inside, but caught up with number 82. Just a really bad way to fall. 
He is done with that. He's passed the star to his pivot. That's number 275, Martinez. Martinez sort of shrinking himself into a, a, an almost non-existent space on the outside line to get around yeah. the hips of that blocker to make the initial. Well, the line they set out was, you know, universally short-statured, and it seemed they were working really well together, and it works well when you need to start jamming as well and fit to those tight spots. Martinez, of course, was jamming earlier in this game. Looks comfortable out there on his toe stops. Nice offensive help in the front. It looks like Martinez is going to continue this uh, roller derby athletic power jam. Seen Sofa heading back to the penalty box. Didn't catch what the uh, answer really was. Wow. So it's essentially three penalties in one jam for Sofa. It's Going to put a dent in their chances for victory here. No pass, no penalty in that last hit out for Martinez. That's going to be four points. Some early offense here from Puerto Rico, and that jam reaches its conclusion. 63 to 32, just over 14 minutes left in this game. And another power jam start for Puerto Rico. Seen a surprising level of power jam starts in this game so far. Yeah, absolutely. Both teams sort of a question mark coming into this tournament. Yes. You know, not uh, not super high profile, but again, yes, you said Puerto Rico with five power jams, Belgium with only one, and we're only, you know, about 16 minutes in. So. We can have ourselves a brief official timeout, and we say, obviously, Puerto Rico going into this next jam with a power jam start. Sofe is uh, standing in the box, and it's going to be a limited amount of time uh, that Puerto Rico are going to have to try and capitalize on uh, this power jam start. And we talked about the use of time. So this official timeout, you know, obviously not strategic. It's done by the refs for, for safety and for accuracy. But the, the time, the period clock winds down and the penalty stays stationary. So this whole time, every time we break, it's just more time, less time for Belgium to catch up. So timeout done and dusted, jam is on. Number five, Bustelo jamming for Puerto Rico. So Faye rejoins the action unnoticed by the Puerto Rico blockers, able to make a quick initial pass. Big push here from Bustelo, knocked to the ground on the inside of the apex there. Too late to call it off because Belgium has picked up a four point pass to Puerto Rico's four. I was actually about to say, I, don't, I, I think literally nobody saw Sofé come back I don't, I don't know if he touched a single person. I, yeah, yeah. He, just, uh, he, he took the outside, he kind of did a bit of side surfing and sort of went, just nothing to see here. Sofé. These are not the jammers you're looking for. <laughs> no, sorry, excuse me, pardon me, nothing to see here. <laughs> yeah, that always feels really great. Tricker Threat, uh, number 88, wearing the star in black against Fletcher from Puerto Rico in blue. Do we have a full four-on-four -four path for a change? We I think might. we do. Yeah. And uh, to, to mix things up just a little bit more, Trick or Threat picking up Lee Jammer for Belgium. Yeah, Fletcher recycled to the back, and he has the star in hand. Not much used to it being on his head at this point as Lee Jammer has gone to Belgium. He's already picked up his five-point Grand Slam. Belgium well, really coming into their own right now, doing some really effective blocking managing to Fletcher for over, over half a minute. Yes. You can see the differences in style here with Puerto Rico being low, steady, aggressive. Belgium being fast, but very upright. Even here in this cube, almost everyone's standing at full height as they're holding back Fletcher. It looks like uh, triple threat not only um, Sneaky coming out of the box, but heading to it as well. <laughs> um, just spotted him, sat down in the penalty box, meaning this is a, another power jam uh, for Puerto Rico now. Power jam is, of course, sponsored by Roller Derby Athletics. The pivot Murdoch as well, heading to the box, gives Fletcher his opening for his five point grand slam. And with triple threat heading back on track and his pivot in the box, it means that he's just going to have to keep on powering through for the next 35 seconds of this jam. Yeah. And again, what we've seen with these long jams, a lot of chaos, a lot of speed. They're going back and forth. And Sofé's going back and forth from the penalty box. He's having another seat for a track cut. And he's being told to re-enter, go around the track again because he passed the point of no return. 
But now Fletcher heading to the penalty box himself. So it's going to be a quick trade up. A couple seconds each. I think we might even end this jam. Yep. With both jammers sat in the box. <laughs> so he seemed to hesitate. He was actually like looking at the at the time clock and like slowly lowering himself in. I don't know if he realized what was going on. Um, it, it may be that he didn't realize, or it could be sort of like the tactical opportunity of yeah. both of them starting from the box. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll find out. I mean, yeah, if he waits, Fletcher, you know, or Puerto Rico gets to start on the line and he has to he rejoin later, so. But this does mean we're going to start a jammerless jam. Yeah, it's going to be a. We talk about jammer line and pivot line, so it's going to be a penalty box start for this jam. And you can see Belgium backing up, taking away that space. So, threat. so both jammers obviously starting in the box. Lead jammer is still wide open possibility for either of them. Oh, Tricker Threat almost making it out of the pack there. Heading to his knees. Oh, it's lead jammer for Tricker Threat. We've got two Puerto Rican blockers heading to the penalty box, meaning there is a massively depleted box, uh, pack the triple threat to make his way past, which he does. Yeah, and Puerto Rico looked like they were still caught up doing offense at that point. There has been a star pass to Rivera, who has dropped the star cover. Rivera takes a lot of risks as far as like his balance and, you know, he's such an incredible skater, but when he gets hit, man, does he go flying. Mm -hmm. Like, even as you were saying, like, the risks about his balance, we could see him there just kind of bouncing off different blockers. Yeah. Um, but right now, he's heading to the penalty box. Do you believe that's for a uh, misconduct? Well, so, if, my, uh, if my hand signals are fully yeah. up today. So, uh, like we were saying, that, that footwork, I mean, he left the ground, but if you contact someone. Trigger Threat having a pretty good jam right now, especially with the pack advantage and the power jam combo. So we're now on a 20-point jam for Belgium. Um, once again, closing that gap. 63 Belgium, 81 Puerto Rico. Another 22 seconds remaining of this jam. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Tr Trick or Threat's okay. But Thumbs I think, up from Trick or Threat, but... I think he may have just had a quick look around to see if anybody caught the plate on that trump. Yes. Yeah. 22 seconds that remaining was, this jam. Uh, that replay. Was, oh, wow. wow. And clean with the shoulder. Absolutely. I was yeah. Gonna say, it wasn't even a particularly big hit. It was just well placed, well timed so, on the shoulder. Yeah. Just, wow. I mean, and again, it's like we were saying, we were nothing ventured, nothing gained. Sometimes you need to do that fancy footwork, but man, when it goes wrong, does it ever go wrong? <laughs> Lead jammer status for Belgium. Thinking, thinking of things going wrong, Puerto Rico really shaking in their boots right now as Belgium has a great run here. And it looks like number 17, the jammer for Belgium has been recycled. Silver line before. Here we go, jam called with 4-2 in favor of Belgium. Big spinning jump at the end there. So we've got just about seven minutes remaining. Scores now sitting 72 to Belgium, 83 to Puerto Rico. Those last couple of jams in favor of Belgium have made a huge difference. Yeah, absolutely. And like we said, whoever comes out of the gate is not necessarily going to win because look at the way that Belgium has come together over the course of this game. 29 to 2 in those last few jams in favor of Belgium. That is Martinez coming out, picking up lead for Puerto Rico. So Faye hot on his heels. Belgium setting up in the front. And they can't tell if they want to race or brace. Puerto Rico really making them pick up the speed. That's exactly what Martinez needs. Pretty sure he got all four in that last pass. Let's see, yep, four fingers in the air. Just briefly to all of you guys watching at home, uh, is it too far for you to come to Calgary? Why not consider hosting the 2018 Men's Roller Derby World Cup? Details uh, are in our program here on site, and you can find them on our website as well. Yes, Cal I mean, Calgary doing an incredible job of hosting oh, this absolutely. year, but they can't do it every year. No. Some years they got to go climb mountains.
I can't imagine that I get more kicks in golf than I do hit the And this one is part of my unit. So we fight and make our own. Of course, that time I brought to you by Quad Skate Shop. Quad Skate Shop is actually having a team of the tournament contest. They're letting you choose one of our MVPs. This year's Quad Skate Shop team of the tournament will now include a fan favorite award as chosen by you. So make sure to check out their Facebook page during Saturday's play to vote for your favorite. So with that team timeout done and dusted, we are going to get straight back into this. Number 88, Tricker Threat, wearing the star for Belgium, up against number 68 from Puerto Rico, that's Rosario. Pack advantage here for Belgium for a change, with three Puerto Rican blockers taking Tricker Threat to the outside, stays in bounds, cinches the lead jammer status. Once again, and a big tumble here from Rosario in the back, not making a lot of headway. Failed apex jump, and it looks like a misconduct for contact with skates off the ground again. Oh. Someone else's misconduct, actually. Rosario still on the track. Meanwhile, Rosario's picked up a cut track penalty. Means we're into another roller derby athletic power jam, this time in favor of Belgium. Um, just as an aside, we've seen quite a, a few really quite, quite point spread wide games uh, so far today. I've just been informed that currently over on the Sisu track, uh, we've got Spain 34, Germany 31. Yikes, yikes. So it's mirroring. And, and right here, yeah. we've now got a four point game. Belgium 83, Puerto Rico 87. Yeah, the crowd is filling out here as the game gets closer and people are, are really excited about how close this score is getting. Three and a half minutes left. It truly is anybody's game. And it didn't look like that for a long time. And right there, we have wow. ourselves a lead change, folks. I, I don't know about you, yeah. Pink, but I've got goosebumps. Yeah, it's uh, if your friends aren't watching on the stream, call them now yeah, and get them to tune in. Because we are just getting started here on the can you believe we've got another three days of this? Yeah. And it's just going to get better and better and better as the teams gel more and everything gets just that little bit closer. Yeah. A back block penalty for that jammer on jammer action goes to Martinez who takes a seat in the penalty box. This is the worst case scenario for Puerto Rico right now. Lee jammer status going to Belgium. Silver line with another one of those Royal Derby Athletic power jams. Oh, nice wrap here from Belgium. Just a jump on the inside. An easy five-point grand slam for number 17, Silver Lying. Puerto Rico trying to get together in the front and just a squeak on the outside of turn three. Beautiful footwork there by Silver Lying. Some, uh, some really nice little moves. Just manage it because he did impact that hit, but he managed to maintain his footwork. Yeah. And again, not quite enough, though, to keep him in. That cutting penalty being issued. Uh, Martinez already out of the penalty box. Oh, and a big hit from the inside. Yeah, Silver Lion trying the same thing in almost the same place. Two, two passes in a row. <laughs> I don't know. Like, they seem to be a little bit wise to his game at that point. Puerto Rico now in a roller derby athletics power jam. Martinez finally completing his initial pass. Still another 46 seconds remaining on this jam. Puerto Rico trying to speed up the pack a little bit. That tends to be what their jammers do best with. Silver Lion rejoining the action as Martinez is taken down on the inside, of course. No lead jammer means we've got another 25 seconds of scoring. Huge hit from number 20. Uh, Macho Pichu taking that jammer off. But he's going to head to the box for that one. Not sure what his penalty was, but Belgium still sitting pretty here. Recycling Martinez on the inside line. Meanwhile, Silver Lion making another pass just in the dying seconds of that jam. Belgium now broke in the century. 108 points to the 92 of Puerto Rico. 
40 seconds remaining on our period clock means this will be our final jam. Yeah, 20 point jam for Belgium, who gave up five power jams in the first 10 or so minutes. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, no one could have expected this when they first tuned in, 108 to 92. And we've got 20 seconds left on the period clock. And well, that's number 99, Sofé, um, coming straight on that inside line. Just wasn't even wide open. It was like somebody had left the window ajar. Yeah. Um, picks up lead straight into the pack once again. And we are just playing to win now. Point ratio doesn't matter. So Belgium has nothing to lose. They're going to call off the game. Wow, three more points on the board for Belgium. That brings it to 111 to 92, your unofficial final. Talk about a comeback. Wow, that's, yeah, but there's no other way to put it. Yeah. Um, there must have been something, it, it can't even be like they had their, their halftime oranges or anything like that. No. Just something shifted for Belgium yeah. partway through that, that period and in that. these in these last seven jams, they scored 68 points to Puerto Rico's wow. 11, wow. and that was all, I would say almost about the ratio that Puerto Rico held until Belgium started exactly. running away with exactly. it. Exactly, but so. I mean, as as we're we're here, we're still early on. We're yeah. in the seedings, um, the group stages. This this level from two mid-range teams. It, the, the play we've seen on track in this game has been absolutely incredible. Some really incredible moves and footwork. Um, and like, if this is what we're seeing now, yeah, tomorrow, this, Saturday, Sunday. This is the warm up. Exactly. This, yeah. is, this is essentially it. This is essentially yeah. the warm up. Yeah, and it, you know, it's uh, the 30 minute game. You don't have a lot of time to lose your mind, and you have if you can keep your cool, if you can keep your mental focus, and that's clearly what Belgium did. They mm. said this isn't lost. We just got to play our game. Went really well. If you want to see either of these two teams again later today. It uh, looks like Puerto Rico's playing Australia at 5.15 p.m. on track mm -hmm. two. Belgium gets a little rest until tomorrow. Coming up here. Coming up here uh, on, the nerds, on the nerds gate track at uh, 3 p.m. It's going to be Chile versus Italy. Ooh. Yeah. I think that could be quite an interesting game. So I've been Pink's Lemonade. I've been Snoogans. My fearless colleague Snoogans. We're going to throw to the CISO, CISU studio right about now. Thanks for joining us, folks. I was like, I got out when I first break with at about 11. I'm like, where oh, is yeah. everybody? And they're like, we're getting lunch. I'm like, I like lunch. There you go. Nerd Roller Skates is your dedicated quad roller skate shop in Calgary, Alberta. Being a nerd is about being really excited and really passionate about a really specific thing. And the thing that we are really excited and passionate about is roller skates.
Roller skates. Official skate shop. Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. For people who roll. I am your fortress on the front line of sport. Engineered to be stronger than the attack. I defy convention by protecting more with less. Helping you breathe easier, hydrate faster, speak more clearly. I am Sisu, and I fend for you.